Well, this is, uh, it's only week two, or it's the start of week three, and I'm still the Cowboys, but I decided to stage an intervention. I looked at the worst teams in the NFL in my universe and figured out it was the Houston Texans. We have an 80 overall. Uh, Broncos and Bengals are the next closest, with the Bengals at 84 for the Bronx. And then the Broncos are 82. I mean, and then yet somehow the Texans are still two points worse than all of that, right? Um, so I'm going to take, I'm just taking control of the Texans for a little bit. This is not something I intend to do for a while. Um, but they were so bad I decided to and I can just make them better really quickly here and I thought I would just spend like 15 minutes doing that over an episode I mean these are their quarterbacks right and they're over full at least they don't have 20 punters they're not particularly heavy at the places I tend to go heavy but um, first off, this guy, you're out of here, buddy. Are you kidding me? This is the team's salary. Come on. You have an enormous amount of cap room. That's ridiculous. And I know my team's already, everyone's sat here, but okay, I can already just go out and get a free agent, oh, I assume I can, a free agent quarterback. All right, this guy. I'm looking for someone that also has awareness among all these other traits. This guy could be good for a long time. Both these guys could, man. And this would be an immediate shot in the arm for their franchise. You're a lifer, dude. Welcome to it. Here, I'll give you a big signing bonus. You don't go anywhere. I can't get his morale to be happy. That's funny. All right, it's about time the Texans spent money. All right, so. There's still no reason for me to keep the other really bad quarterbacks on the Texans roster. His awareness is practically negative. This guy has stuff to work with, but his awareness is also very bad. But man, with that combination of power and accuracy and the fact that you already have a label, um, is promising. But let's go ahead and sign a free agent quarterback to be the third one. Let's just make a good team. All right, just out of curiosity, I've already improved the Texans by one point overall. Let's go take a look at this thing over here. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Um, we are below average at a lot of key positions. In fact, every position listed here is key. Bad D-line, bad linebackers, bad defensive backs. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, these guys are bad. So you're gone. I mean, are you kidding me? How can these guys have overalls in the 60, 60s? Did 
Did, did I just cut this guy? I doubt it, right? Those other guys were in the 60s. Honestly, this guy has some really good attributes. Um, I'm going to kind of trick the Texans into keeping this guy a long time. Finally get some people with positive morale on the team. All right, so there's not as many good or not, not a correlating, very, you know, interest, intriguing outside linebacker. All right, definitely at age 26, you should be in your 80s. This guy has promise, but he's just young. And being on a bad team, they both. This guy's even worse, but he's a first round tick. Pick? How is this possible? How can he be so bad? Like, no. This guy's one of the worst rookies I've ever seen. I just want him gone. I'm sorry, I can't have this guy be this bad. One second, before I cut him. His awareness is just really bad. What pulls him down. Oh man, it's slim pickings in the aftermarket. They wouldn't even. This guy's the backup's backup. God, this is just abominable. How could they be so bad of the Texan? I mean, so bad at the draft.
go ahead and get rid of this guy. He's a malcontent. I wish I could cut more guys, but there's not really guys I can replace them with, you know? This guy. At least he has speed. He's apparently kind of dumb, though. Maybe the kind of dumb you can never really get over. Yeah, I'll make this guy captain. Alright, this guy's still better than what they have. He really hates my team that much. Dude, look at that money. You're getting zero right now. Computer, I'm not going to play as the Texans and the computer. <clears throat> this guy didn't sign with me, right? Um, the computer doesn't take advantage of that stuff the same way I do. enough cornerbacks out there in the world. This guy actually has promise, man. That is elite speed, uncommon. You know, if he could develop his awareness at all, that'd be a huge step forward. Man, Genie's actually won a Super Bowl while being the head coach of the Titans, or the, I mean, the Jets. The Titans never won a Super Bowl. The Jets won a Super Bowl. Um... All right, so have we finished churning some of the, I mean, these are some small churns, but at least we're getting rid of some real bad baggage. Like, what is up with this guy? How could he be so bad? I'm sorry, a first round pick that's a 72 overall is never gonna start and always bring down the team. Man, I wish that guy could teach.
All right, this guy has some interesting concepts. Wish his acceleration was great, but I mean, the Texans need people that are willing to play for them. Man, I wish I could find more cornerbacks I actually wanted to field. Alright, let's look at defensive tackle. Man, these guys are so bad. Not the top guy. The top guy should be a backup, a good backup. I would be content with a guy like that as my backup. Just take the best defensive tackle on the board. Go ahead and keep the rookie because the virtue of being a rookie. All right, there's way too many right ends. What's going on at left end? I was only. I mean, God, these guys are all in their 70s. Yuck. All right, this is where we get a little clever. This guy kind of looks like an interesting defensive. No, wait. Let's see how well this works. Mark Thomas done. Let's go to the Texans. Mark Thomas. Edit. Here, 75 is a left outside linebacker. What do you mean I can't change you? So Mark Thomas projects as an 82 as a right end. Um, so what I'm going to do is edit him. <laughs> um, I'm going to start him there. Well, I'll just start him. That was easy. Wait, this guy's even better. Here's what I'll do, auto reorder. I think that'll get my defensive ends. On it. I guess it did not. And who is this G Gumble? Okay, he's my starting left outside linebacker. Fine. group of cornerbacks. All right, I got to sign one more cornerback so I at least don't have someone rated in the 60s. 
over there. A Anderson, you gotta get cut. Uh, maybe I misunderstood that. All right, but we still need another cornerback because I was gonna field my 68 overall strong safety as a cornerback. What? How could this guy be so fast and so old? This guy's a promising rookie. All right, so I actually needed a cornerback. So, okay, in my depth chart, how did how does he compare overall as a cornerback? Just what I did to help their defensive ends to bring out these 90 and 80 overall defensive ends um, is going to be a huge improvement over where they were. Oh, that's my old center from Dallas. I traded him to the Texans. I think I made a lot of money doing that. Oh my god, they can't get a real left tackle. They have a left or right tackle that's that bad. All right, let's look at the free agent tackles. I can see this guy being okay. All right, let's go look at our roster, our tackles then. Why is that guy starting? Why isn't a left tackle starting? So I don't see why in the depth chart it says the overall is one thing. For example, a left tackle. C. Winters 72. But over here it's like C. Winters is an overall 79. Anyway, this guy's got to go. You see that microphone? Simply, in that case, got the next best dude.
This guy's got a microphone, but he actually has positive morale. That's nice. <laughs> Maybe I cut the wrong guy. Oh well. Man, this guy's got an 86 overall and he's a rookie fullback. Yeah, hmm. What's his run block? It's actually, that's a interesting player. It's not often that you get good fullbacks. Man, I don't know why the left tackle says he has this one rating on one screen and a different rating on another one. Okay, I've done basically all the things I can in one quick swoop. Let's see if that made a real difference on their overall rating. Oh wow, I've improved the Texans almost to the point, I mean they're better than... Well, they just surpassed uh, the Broncos, and they're almost as good as the Bengals now. Man, I hope their fans are excited about the rapid improvements they've gone under. They signed two quarterbacks out of the blue. All right, we'll just follow their win and loss record over the course of the season. Going to wrap it up and repeal my use of, you know, I don't... Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, I don't intend to do a whole lot with the Texans. I just wanted to experiment with getting these teams off the dirt mat. Cause some of these bad teams, they seem to get stuck in bad. I'm just kind of curious what it would take for me to get them out of that. Like, is it enough to just sign some dudes here and there in free agency and then the computer can take care of you? I mean, they drafted terrible players. I, I cut two first-round picks just now. Guys that came into the league with like 72 overall in mean, a first round pick you need them to be like in the upper 70s if not 80s all right we'll go ahead and save i'll save it back up here and that's it for tonight later y'all